Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Clau and this is Cozy Pixels and today I will guide you through on how to run an efficient business with the Open for Business expansion pack. Open for Business has always been my favorite Sims 2 pack and I think it's super exciting and I got a few requests to make a video on this expansion pack so I thought I would gather everything that I know of and I also looked up a few things to give you a very very detailed guide on what to pay attention to when you start the business. So I would say let's start with the basics. In Open for Business there are two basic types of businesses. One of them is the home business and one of them is a business where you buy a community lot and run the business on a community lot. There are main differences and the big one difference is that home-owned businesses cannot be visited by other playable households when you play with them but they can show up as guests autonomously. So for example if you have a small grocery store with one of your sims with your other sims you cannot visit it to buy groceries but when you play your sim who owns the business your other sims can show up and can visit a lot now i want to share a few tips if you decide to own a home business so the first one that i would recommend is plan the layout of your house so that you can easily fit in a home business into it you don't want the sims to roam around your living area you don't want them to crash your bedroom use your bathroom or grill barbecue in your back garden if possible make your little shop area a different building or for example what i used to do is to have the first floor as the business and from the second floor the living area for your sims because that way you can avoid the guests roaming around and roaming into spaces that you don't want them it's easier for them to go browsing your selection because there's a shorter amount of time be between their arrival and the interaction. After you have your layout, make sure to lock the doors. I would recommend using the lock for everyone except household members option, because that way your household can roam the whole lot free, but the guests and the visitors and your employees cannot go into your house and uh, cannot eat in your kitchen and stuff like that. That being said, also pay attention that you put facilities into your store because your employees will need to use the bathroom, they will need to eat. So pay attention that you have a bathroom and a little sitting area for them in your little shed or wherever you have your home business. Also don't forget to turn wholesale mode on if you decide to buy anything. The wholesale mode gives you a discounted price on every buy mode item depending on how high your business perks are and also if you use this it gives you a bigger profit margin on your sales and you can also save a few simoleons if you just want to buy something for your household. There are a few unique things about home businesses and those are home businesses cannot have managers. Home businesses uh, obviously cannot be managed remotely because you are always on the lot where the business is and when the owner dies of the home business and there is no sim in the household left to inherit the business then it simply gets dissolved and if the household moves away from the business lot it doesn't give extra value to the lot so they can sell it and earn more money for it. For the community lot businesses, the unique things are that they can be visited by other playable households. It doesn't matter if you left it open or closed, it always counts as open for other playable households. They can have managers and they can be run remotely. They can be given away, purchased or inherited, not like the home businesses. If you want to open a business, you have to decide from the three categories which one would you like to run. You don't have to set anything, but there are differences on how you build up these different type of businesses. So the first one is the most common. These are the shops where you can sell physical items. It doesn't matter if they are crafted by your sim or brought um, and resold from buy mode. You can have uh, cosmetic salons, clothing shops, etc. The next one is the restaurants, which I think speaks for itself. Your sims can run their own little restaurant. And the third one is the venues where you sell an experience and not a physical product. This works with the ticket machine and basically sims pay for entrance into your lot and pay based on how much time they spend on your lot. Let's jump into a few tips for shop types of businesses. These are basically the most straightforward businesses. You have to fill your business with shelves, stack items on it and set a price on them and basically that's it. Here I would recommend setting an average or cheap price for the items which you can later increase much more when your customer loyalty is higher because the higher the loyalty the more they are willing to pay 
for certain items. If you want to sell a service, for example, uh, you want to open a beauty salon, so for example, you put down a salon chair, just place it and set the price for it via the for sale tool and basically you are good to go. What you will probably want to do is hire employees for your shop or ask other family members to help you out because at least always have one cashier on your lot. Even for my small shops, I always hire one cashier because with one sim you can probably handle the sales and restock items uh, functions, but there always needs to be a cashier because it's the most important function in a store because if there is no cashier or your customers have to wait for a long time at the cash register, they just leave their products and you lose out on a lot of money. So I would recommend hiring a cashier and let your controllable sim do the rest of the jobs, for example, selling the items. Also note, if you have very cheap products, you will need less salespeople because cheap products often sell themselves, but you will need more restockers because the empty shelves have a negative moodlet on your customers. So pay attention to that. And the higher the price, the more salespeople and more sales interactions you need to perform. Also, as you progress with your business, as I said before, customers with high loyalty points will buy expensive items without anyone needing to sell those items to them. Also, sometimes Sims just wander into your store and sometimes they can't find what they are looking for. So always pay attention to the Sims who appear lost. They just wander around and looking around like they don't really know what uh, they are looking for. These Sims are important because sometimes they can be journalists and if you don't have them, they can write a negative article about your business. And just like that, if you have them, they will write a positive article about your business. So always pay attention to help out Sims who appear lost. Now, the restaurant is a different type and a bit complicated type of business, but I think this is super exciting. So if you want to run a restaurant, you will need at least one of these following objects which are one host podium a tempest cooked up which came with nightlife and a dining table or a counter and at least one chair at each of them the podium is where you can basically run your business from and the following interactions are available there you can plan the menu here you can decide which type of food do you want to sell and uh, i would recommend setting these based on your chef's cooking skills because sims don't mind less type of food available but they do mind burned food so you want to avoid at all costs offering a dish that can be burned by your chef so for example it's totally okay if you only sell for example uh, spaghetti and hamburgers if your chef only knows two types of dishes but make sure that you never serve burnt food because that seriously damages your customer loyalty you can also set prices and it works the exact same way as it does with regular products you can set if you want to offer the dishes at uh, very cheap cheap average expensive or very expensive price you can also set a custom price if you want to you can also have an interaction which is called show menu 2 and this basically initiates the browsing interaction with a customer who is not already browsing the menu so for example if you see some wandering sims on your lot who haven't decided yet if they want to check out your restaurant you can just go up to them show the menu and then they will start browsing and the little icon will appear above their head you can also be host or be server these are very straightforward you can also assign host or assign server if you have employees and you also have the classic be seated interaction which you know from regular restaurants if your sim goes to visit there without being an employee or an owner the only thing that you cannot do from here is assign a chef because you can assign a chef by clicking on the employee who, who you want to be chef or you can click on the stove and assign the chef from there you'll need at least three types of employees or you will need your household members to perform these uh, functions one of them is the chef one of them is the host and the server there's also a fourth kind of employee called the greeter but usually these two can be the same so for example i would recommend having your main controllable sim as the host because it's easier to perform the sales interactions with them and then you can be the greeter because basically what the greeter does is that he sells the product to the people who come in just like a regular salesman in a shop so if you see that people are browsing the menu you go up to them 
perform any sales interaction so it increases their satisfaction and it makes it easier for them to actually go in and buy something. Also make sure to pay attention to the following things because they can affect customer loyalty and customer loyalty is the most valuable thing that you can have in your business. So the waiting times at the host podium are very important. Also the waiting times for the orders to be taken and to be delivered are very important and if it's too long it uh, greatly increases the customer loyalty. Also as I said before the quality of the food if it's burned it's really really bad so try to avoid that at all costs and the guests gain extra loyalty if they order food that requires at least five levels of cooking. Also this is true for every business but customers can gain uh, loyalty points if they develop positive relationships on your community lot, if they gain new friends, uh, new love interests etc but also it can affect their loyalty in a negative way if they for example make enemies etc and this is even more true if they develop these relationships with staff members. The next one is the venues business type which is also very exciting you can do a lot of different things with this and these are the places where you charge the sims for basically being there like a nightclub, museum, bar, community pool basically you can do a lot of things with this and to be able to do that you will have to buy the electrono ticket machine from buy mode and set the price at it and put it at the entrance so everything behind the ticket machine is for a price so if you put the ticket machine in the middle of your lot it will only count half of it so i wouldn't recommend doing that always um, put it near the entrance similar to the host podium in the restaurants this is basically the soul of the business and sims will browse this one to decide if they want to buy a ticket or not if the sims do buy a ticket they will get charged every hour they spend there so your main goal is to make sure that your guests or customers spend as much time on your lot as possible you can obviously perform the usual sales tasks on uh, the sims who browse the item making it easier for them to spend money when sims are deciding if they should buy the ticket or not they take how well their needs or skill building desires are fulfilled into consideration so make sure you put down enough objects to fill every need they can imagine um, enough toilets, objects for fun, stuff to eat, things to do, comfortable couches and stuff like that. So they won't have to leave unless they really have to for example go home to sleep and stuff like that. Make sure to put down a large variety of objects when you can. Obviously when you first start off I assume you won't have a lot of money but later on if you want to have a really nicely going business put down variety objects and not a lot of objects from the same type because sims tend to appreciate variety. Also I would recommend putting down objects that multiple sims can use at once. So for example while the arcade machines can be only used by one sim, a pool table can be used by four sims I think and that's very useful because then you can occupy four sims at once with only purchasing one item. Also for example if you have a bar or stuff like that you can hire bartenders, cleaning personnel and stuff like that so I would recommend trying it out these venue type of businesses are very exciting with a little creativity you can do a lot of things with it in this next section I would like to talk about customer loyalty in a little bit more detail and um, customer loyalty is the little stars that appear above sims head who visit your business and within each star there is an amount of loyalty points that have to be earned which increases with each level. Just like in any video game, if you have to progress with your levels, level up is pretty easy but level 40 is much much more difficult. So for the first star you only need 100 loyalty points but to get to 5 star with a certain customer you will need 950 points so it gets harder through progress. Customer loyalty can be gained by customers purchasing an object. It doesn't matter if it's in your store a physical object or a ticket or a restaurant item. If they successfully purchase something it will increase their loyalty. High environment score is very important so if you can spend a little money on decorating because their environment score really affects their mood and 
if they want to buy something from you or not. As I mentioned before, gaining relationship points while on lot gives you even more loyalty and if they befriend the owner or the employees, it gives an even higher score. So the more friends you have, the more money you can get from customers. Accepting sales socials also increases them and um, therefore declining sales socials decreases them and getting served at the cash register within 30 minutes is also a huge thing and just as i said at the restaurants being offered a food that requires at least level 5 cooking skill gives a big boost to customer loyalty as well however the opposite of these earns a negative customer loyalty points so if the environment score is low if the customers don't purchase anything or when they get new enemies when they refuse sales socials etc etc they lose loyalty and if they see out of stock signs that decreases their loyalty as well so make sure that your shelves are always packed because it also impacts the environment score so it's like double decrease situation if they see a lot of empty shelves. If your customers have high loyalty, they visit your shop more often, they buy more things and their browsing interaction starts with a higher probability of buying anything. You know, the little thing above Sim's head starts more full if they have higher loyalty. More loyal customers are willing to buy items on a higher price. So at the beginning of your business, you can sell stuff for cheap and gain a lot of loyalty points. And later on, you can set the price higher and they won't complain. They will be happy to buy because they are already loyal to your business. Also, every customer and every Sim has a hidden shopping need. And when that starts to fill up, they will just simply stop buying your stuff in your store. But if you can make them stay on your lot a little longer, that need will start decreasing again and therefore they will start purchasing things again. So as I said before, your main goal is to keep sims or keep customers in your business as much as you can. So I would recommend having a little barbecue area, toilets and stuff like that so people can occupy themselves in the meantime when they are not buying anything. Also, this is only just my experience, but there are sometimes sims who came into your shop and, and hate it already. So they haven't bought anything. There are no negative customer loyalty points, but you can see that Everything you do, they will just refuse and decrease your loyalty. So I would recommend if you try to sell something to a sim and you can see that they don't like it and their customer loyalty decreases, just let them be. I wouldn't recommend trying to push different type of sales interactions because as my experience, they will just refuse everything and lower your star rating. So I would just let them be or what i do and that's maybe kind of tricky but at a home business you can just greet them interact with them a few times so for example chat and then just say goodbye to them and there you go you just got rid of a problematic customer and in the last section i want to talk a little bit about the employees who are the heart of the business so you can hire your employees to your business via the phone computer or in person and when you decide to hire by the phone, you can see every skill of the certain employee or if they have any talent badges and also as well how much payment do they want on an hourly basis. You can hire elders, teens and adults as well. I think in general teens and elders have a lower pay requirement as adults. So when you start off your business, maybe it's smarter to hire a teenager than to hire an adult because you don't really have money anyway. After you hire them, they will appear on your lot and a little pop-up will come up at your screen saying, this is my first day, don't forget to assign a job to me. You can do that by clicking on your employee and go into the option assign and there you can choose from anything that is available for your lot. So for example, if you don't have a cash register on your lot, the cashier job won't show up. But if you have a bar, for example, a bartender option will show up. So the game is very smart in this sense. As I said before, I always assign my employees as cashiers and later on, if I have more money, restockers and I usually do the sales interactions with my own controllable sim because it gives you a nicer control of your business. Your employees have their needs decay as well, as I said before, so make sure to give them breaks from time to time. Otherwise, they will either bail, 
work or quit that job entirely and you don't want to do that add the staff room to your shop and if you can stuff it with expensive stuff do that because it fills their needs quicker and they can go back to work faster than if you put cheap uh, furniture into the staff room you can see their needs at the top right of the screen and there's a little bubble above their head which works like the plumb up so if it's green then they are good and the more red the color gets the more uncomfortable they feel so make sure to pay attention to that also your employees will progress with their skills and talent badges as they work for you so make sure to pay attention to their pay grade because the higher their skills and the more talent badges they have the higher pay grade they will require and if you don't pay attention to that they will quit their job because of low payment there's also one exciting thing Thing, and I love this feature is that you can set uniform for your employees and you can do that by clicking on the employee choosing management and set uniform and then you can set a uniform for your employees you can also set different uniforms for different types of employees if you want so for example you can have cashiers wear this type of outfit and restockers that type of outfit and stuff like that. I think it's really interesting and I love making these. Although there is a thing when you set a uniform for your own sim, sometimes it changes their makeup as well and I don't know why it does that. Let me know in the comments if you have any solution to that because I haven't really found anything about that and it's kind of bugging me. Also there's a special type of employee which is the manager. If your employees perform well and you are confident in their skills you can promote them to be managers and if your business have a manager you can decide not to go to the lot and it will run itself automatically by the manager so this is what remote control means that basically there's a deputy of you who runs the store all day and progresses on its own but i think i have to say that for example the customer loyalty and the business rank improves slower if you are not on the lot and not managing it yourself. And last but not least, I want to mention a few mods which are super useful if you want to run a business and especially on a community lot. So I already mentioned this in my mods videos, but I recommend getting the sleeping on community lots mod because I think it doesn't really need explanation, but it's super useful skill building on community lots as well especially if you have a bar or something like that where customers can play chess it's really useful also there are a few mods by pescado which are business related one of them is the business controller which provides a few fixes related to businesses and stuff like that i would recommend checking it out and uh, more employees to hire mod by Squinch and it makes all currently unemployed sims available for hire which is really good because this way you can more easily hire other playable sims or primates or townies who might actually have some talent badges and skills and the last one is the customer selector also by Pescado which is a nice mod and it gives you the option to kind of set a target audience for your shop so for example if you have an electronic store you can target um, sims who are interested in uh, electronics or games or stuff like that if you have a flower shop you can target sims who are interested in environment etc etc so these can add a little new flavor into business related gameplay check them out read all of their descriptions please before installing because it's uh, really important not to just download and install every mod that i recommend and have a nice time running your business please do let me know if this was useful for for you if you heard any new information i am also planning to do one of these videos on every talent badge that you can have in the game let me know in the comments guys what did you think leave a like on the video if you enjoyed if you want to support my channel become a member and unlock cool perks check out my other channels i will leave them somewhere and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i love you all stay awesome and happy simming bye bye